The California Grunion, also known as Lorestes tenuis, is found from San Francisco, California, all the way down to Baja, California, Mexico. The California Grunion belongs to the family Atheronopsidae, which include your top smelts and jack smelts. During the spring high tides in March through August, Grunion adults come out of the water to spawn and the fertilized eggs incubate in the sand. Hatching is stimulated by wave action during a subsequent spring high tide 10 to 14 days post fertilization or later. The California Grunion is one of the few fish species known to be able to delay hatching. The Grunion embryos are competent to hatch at approximately 8 days post fertilization at 20 degrees Celsius, but require an environmental trigger, the wave action during a subsequent spring high tide, to hatch. If the first spring high tides after fertilization do not reach them, the embryos are viable up through two additional spring tidal series, giving the embryos more than one opportunity to hatch. The ability to delay hatching and extend incubation can potentially increase the chance of species continuation. During in vitro fertilization, we rinse off the female with salt water. Then in a process known as stripping, we push out the gametes from head to tail. The orange parts that you see coming out of this female are her eggs. To fertilize the eggs, we strip the males of their gametes, known as milt. Once the milt hits the water, the sperm will fertilize the eggs. In a natural grunion spawning event, the female will dig her body about two-thirds of the way into the sand, where then a male will coil around her to be able to release his milt while she is releasing her eggs deep into the sand. The milt will run the length of her body while she wriggles in the sand to fertilize the eggs. Once she is finished releasing the eggs and the milt is all the way out of the male, she will pop out of the sand and they will both ride the waves back out to sea. The Grunion embryos have two energy reserves, oil droplets and yolk, which support embryonic development and incubation. Once the embryos reach hatching competency, the energy reserves are not used for growth of the embryo, but rather are used to keep the embryo viable until it can hatch, making these fish embryos capable of surviving up to 36 days post-fertilization. The first signs of development in the Grunion embryos are the notochord, eyes, and beating heart. The embryo does not develop eye pigmentation until four days post-fertilization. By day four, the oil droplets have also coalesced and will continue to decrease in amount as well as pigmentation. During hatching in the California Grunion, the chorion, which is the egg casing, deforms slightly from its previous spherical shape. The Grunion embryo twists and turns within the chorion, then lashes against the chorion with its tail and emerges tail first. Occasionally, an embryo hatches incompletely and swims about with its head still trapped within the chorion. Spawning on sandy beaches, developing in the sand, and having the ability to extend incubation are unusual reproductive traits of the California Grunion. Because these unusual behaviors, the California Grunion is unlike any other fish in the sea.
Thank you.